What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you joined me here. So for this first video, uh, what I want to do is I want to go through a photo that I just posted on Instagram today. It's a photo that I took back in January. I believe it was the 3rd of January. I took it down at Jockey's Ridge State Park in North Carolina. And the negative didn't turn out very well. It's Some of it was pretty badly underexposed. And it took a lot of work to get it to the finished product. And I just wanted to walk through what I did to get to that finished product. Let's take a look at what's on the scanner. So this part here is what comes out of the scanner. Uh, the, the resolution doesn't matter. I'll get to that in a minute. But what we have is you see this part of the image right here, the sand, what would be the sand. Tremendously underexposed. It, it really looks like mud and not sand. And then, to be honest, I'm not that thrilled with the sky either. Um, I had a couple images I could pick from. There's this one, but you can see the person moving just a little bit. So I like this one better because he's stationary. And uh, this is not the scanner software. Uh, as you can see, this one is pretty good. The sand's nice, nice color in the trees. You can do a little color correction here, but this is definitely a serviceable image. This one um, is not. So what I do with an image like this that I want to get something out of, but there's just nothing there. This uh, image on the computer just looks bad coming out of the scanner. So what I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll switch to 9600 DPI. That's the most DPI I can do with a 35 millimeter frame out of this scanner. It won't let me go any higher. And then I come down here to reset. That eliminates all of the internal scanner uh, corrections. And so that's what we've got. And then I scan. This is blurred out because uh, I don't have clicked right there. I'm not going to scan this and have to wait 40 minutes. I already have this scanned. So let's minimize that. This is the image that I already showed you. This is how it came directly out of the scanner. Up here and this is how this one came out of the scanner and there's just there, there's really nothing good about this image to me so we come over here and what do we have um, I'm in the healing tool so I see a little something there a little something there a little something there and a little something there not going to get bogged down with that. So let's go first and I'll just walk you through how I do it. Exposure. Um, so do that. I can go plus two. That actually makes the sand look okay, but it blows out the highlights. So I ended up going down to, well, I went down to a quarter stop exposure. Now that doesn't look like it did much, but we will get there. The next thing I went to was levels. Okay. And yes, on this notepad right here, I have this written down. I'm not, I'm not doing this thing live, uh, live for you. So I went down to two thirteen with that and now as you can see that lightened it up quite a bit and then this one I went to 1.10 and then I also made some adjustments in the red layer which was right here 1 1.3 1.13 and so that darkened it up 
just a little bit again. Um, made no changes to the green, made no changes to the blue. Now we go to a color balance because you want to wiggle the sliders around to get it to look right. So I want the yellow to come out. So I'll come down here and go to minus 22 on that. Now that actually has started to look pretty good. It's getting there. It's getting there. Next we'll let's check out some shadows. See if we can go to plus 10 on the shadows. That gives a little bit of red color down there. And then minus 51. Now that's a little bit more than what it's going to end up being. But that's what we have because there was too much blue down there. And now let's go into highlights. We're going to minus 5 there and plus 10 there. And you see that's made the sky nice and blue. But I want a little bit more blue in the sky. So let's see what we can do. I want to go to another color balance, but this one I'm going to invert it. Because I only want to change the sky on this one. I only want to change the sky. Let's go here. Let's go to our nice little magic wand. And click here. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, as you can see, it's got a nice layer down here on the sand. The person's not selected. We'll get to that in a minute. Hold down the shift key. Go up here. Go here. Here. Sometimes it can take a moment to select all these. That, that has enough selected. All right, and now that enough of this is selected, you're going to want to do Control I. And as you can see over here, that fixes uh, all of this. So, man. D, that'll say that we are done with this one. And now we're going to adjust the mid-tones. We're going to do a minus 30 there. You can see that it's nice and blue up here. We're going to go up 15 there, and then we're going to go into the shadows, and we're going to go up 40, and that's how we got there. Uh, a few things didn't get adjusted. It's right over here. You can see that. You can see it in here. But let's not get bogged down quite like that. And then one last change, if I can find it. There we go. Brightness. I'm going to go up. 15 on the brightness and there we go uh, two other things that need to be fixed let me zoom in now you can see my little my person here does not look that good let me zoom in again and then if we actually do this That looks much better, at least when you zoom out. Yes, it, it's a black spot. At the same time, you know, when I was looking at this, that is pretty much what that person looked like. I mean, we were, I believe I measured it out. I mean, it was every bit of 400 yards away. I had the camera zoomed out as far as it would go. I had it at uh, 300 millimeters. So it was everything I could do 
to get a discernible person in the picture at all. So that's what we went with because the sun, and that's the reason for this up here. The sun is, is right here, pointed right at us. So uh, that person was just silhouetted against the top of the mountain or the top of the sand dune. It's uh, Jockey's Ridge sand dune, largest sand dune in the United States east of the Mississippi River. And just one other thing, this bird has a strange shadow. I'm working on the wrong layer, rookie mistake. And so we'll just stamp that out. And the only other thing I did before putting it on Instagram was I did a four by five crop because uh, the, the, the four by five aspect ratio just fits a little better on Instagram than two by three, three by two, however you want to say it. And so that's it. That's a quick little journey through how I edit a photo for Instagram. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me again next time and I'll see you then.